okay hello students i'm subikas and you are watching online vikas so in this video uh, we will discuss areas of rectangular parts okay as you can see the title of this video session areas of rectangular parts and here we will discuss two types of questions only two questions will be discussed here in fact but those two questions are very important and it will help you a lot okay so without wasting a lot of time just let us start the video okay so can you see the question now you can see the question along with this uh, figure and this is the type one right and in this case you can see in this case uh, a garden is 90 meter long so let us suppose let us suppose uh, this is the garden okay a b c and d right the the interior one okay and the length of this garden is 90 meter is it clear and the breadth of this garden is 75 meter then after that a garden is 90 meter long and 75 meter broad a part 5 meter wide so a part 5 meter wide is to be built outside all around it along its border it means what this is the garden and along uh, in the outside okay outside we will build a, uh, you know a part and the wide of that part will be five centimeter not centimeter i'm sorry five meter is it clear let us suppose this outer rectangular rectangle we will uh, name it say e f g and h clear okay now the question is to find out the area of the part the question is to find out the area of this part okay now what we will do this is the first thing what we will do now you can see this portion we need to find the area of this portion because this is the area uh, road or part you can say this is the part you know so we will we need to find out the area of this part so what will be our approach our approach will be to find out the area of this whole rectangle right we will try to find out the area of this whole rectangle and after that since we need this one this shaded region we will subtract the area of this rectangle the basic thing is what we will find out the area of the whole rectangle and from that area we will subtract the area of this smaller rectangle is it clear so without wasting time let us do it now can you see the can you see everything yeah so i hope you will understand it uh, now you can see let us abcd represent the garden and the shaded region okay abcd is the garden here abcd let her let abcd be the garden right and the shaded region is the part okay no need to write it now uh, we, we just simply area of part area of part will be equal to area of e f g h minus area of a b c d so area of e f g h that means the area of this whole rectangle now the dimension the dimension were given the you see this is 5 meter right this is now you see we we are we just going to find out the length of the this outermost rectangle okay now you see from here to here it is 90 from a to b it is 90 and the bread or the wide of the path is five five meter in this five meter it is also five meter so can you say till here from here to here it was 90 and here here it is five meter because this the white is five meter and the white is here also five meter so here five another five five plus five is what ten and this one is 90 because it is equal yes or no so 90 5 and 5 will be equal to what 100 is it clear is it clear I'm writing it here huh 
EF will be 90 meter plus 5 meter from this side, 5 meter from that side. So overall 100 meter. Okay. Oh, sorry, 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 my mistake. It is E H, huh? Not that. And E F. No, no. Oh yes, E F. E F. This one. This one is. You see, from here to here it is 75. That means from here to here, this portion. Okay, this portion from here to here will be 75. And what will be the length of this portion? Definitely 5 meter. Why? Why it was 5 meter? So 5 meter here and 5 meter there. So 75 meter plus 5 meter plus 5 meter that means 80 5 meter is it clear now we will do it area of EFG is what will be the area length into breadth we know the length into breadth this one is uh, 85 and this one is 100 so 100 into 85 square meter minus area of ABCD was what 19 to 75 clear so if you calculate this one 100 into 85 was 85 double zero and 90 into 75 9 45 5 carry 4 9 7 63 63 plus 4 67 correct so from there if you subtract this one from 8000 6000 mm -mm, 0 minus 0 0 10 minus 5 5 4 minus 14 minus 7 7 7 minus 6 1 so the area of the part area of this part is 1750 square meter oh you cannot see that sorry sorry, sorry for that okay so the area of the part will be a 1750 square meter so this is the this is the basic thing it is very basic thing from the whole we we, we don't need this one this part we don't need okay the garden we don't need so what we will do we will find out the whole area and from that area we will subtract the unnecessary part this is the unnecessary part for us but for a gardener this is not the unnecessary part right okay uh, so to find out the path only we will just from the whole area we will subtract the garden area of the garden that will be our answer is it clear if you can understand it uh, so now if you want to take a screenshot you can take it and we will move towards the type 2 question okay type 2 question okay if you have taken the screenshot then let us move okay i already have made the figure this is the type 2 okay you can see the question now yeah a grass a grassy plot this one is the grassy plot uh, it should be colored or it should be drawn within with the green color no okay leave it a grassy plot is 80 meter 60 meter okay that means what okay let us name it okay a b and c d clear so the grassy plot this a b c d is 80 meter by 60 meter so the length the length it is the length so it is what 80 meter clear and this is 60 meter clear okay a grassy plot 80 meter and 60 meter uh, two cross parts each 4 meter wide are constructed at right angles through the center of the field it means what two cross part two cross part this is one part and another this is but they these two parts are crossing each other clear at a right angle they are not you know the two two road are constructed in this way not in this way because they are perpendicular it is mentioned in the question the they are constructed at right angles this angle is what the angle form is what here 90 degree so the two cross parts are constructed at right angles through the center of the field and one more thing is given here the each are you know path are four meter wide that means the white of the path is 4 meter right from here it is also 4 meter correct it is also 4 meter it is also 4 meter this white now such that each part is parallel to one of the side of the rectangle okay they are parallel making you know they are parallel 
with one of the side yes or no this is parallel to this side or this side you may say this road is parallel to this side or you may say this side so that is what is given find the total area used as part so you need to find out the area of this part right okay so what will be our approach i hope you have understood the question so let us do it now okay so before that let me uh, the name of this different different point suppose we are naming this as e uh, and this this is what f e f and g h okay and this is say p q r s now what we will do first we will find out you can see you can do in different different way okay okay let us be let us do it you can see this is what this is a rectangle yes or no this e f g h e f h g this is what this is a rectangle only and this is also one more rectangle uh, p q s r it is a rectangle so what we will do we will find the area of this rectangle only okay so without wasting time let us find it out area of e f this is the short form okay e f h g e f h g okay so what will be the area of the e f h g can anyone tell me what is the length here this length is what it is equal equal to 80 meter yes or no this is the 80 meter 80 meter only so 80 meter and 40 meter so 80 into 4 4 meter sorry yeah it for the 32 so 320 square meter correct okay now let us find out the area of this part p q s r so area of p q s r is what you can see this one this one is the length here and it is equal to 60 okay so, so 60 and the breadth or the white was 4 meter only so 6 4 are 24 so 240 square meter correct now you see have you noticed here we have found out the area of this part okay but when we have found out the area of this part we have calculated this area twice yes or no this area twice because we, we while we are counting this side we are counting this side then on then on that time also we have counted or calculated this part and wh while we are collect counting or calculating this side that time also we are taking this part that means once we need to subtract this one from the sum okay so let us find out the area of this common square okay so let me name this one what what letter okay there are 26 alphabets no so a b c d has been used a b c d a b c d e f g h okay i j k l okay so let me find out the area of i j k l because i j k l square is counted twice or you can say calculated twice or added twice while we are counting this one then that time also we have calculated and while we are counting this one that time also we have calculated so for one once we need to subtract this one so what is the area of i j k l yeah now you can see this is a square only and this side is 4 meter and this side is also 4 meter yes or no the wide only so 4 4 4 into 4 16 square meter correct therefore area of part so since i already have told you we will add these two sides two two areas of the rectangle and from that we need to subtract once okay so 320 plus 240 minus 16 square meter so if you add this one uh, 320 32 32 30 56 from the 560 560 minus 10 550 550 minus 6 544 square meter correct so this is the answer only that's it okay so there are several type of questions or questions may be you know arose right 
so you can practice them from the exercise and if you have any doubt we can you can directly ask me okay so i think after finishing this lesson we will have a session while we will where we will uh, discuss the questions from exercise and yes of course you can also you know you can also ask questions so that that means you say you are not you know you are unable to do the question number 7 from the exercise 14 b say then you can definitely ask me sir i can't do the exercise 7 b 14 b question number 7 that time in the exercise session where we will next the, the session where we will discuss the exercise from the questions questions from the exercise there we will discuss them because it is not possible to discuss all the questions in a video so better i will choose only few questions from the exercises and also you can you can you know ask me particular question so that i can include them in the session okay so next part will be areas of parallelogram okay areas of parallelogram and yeah that will be discussed area of parallelogram and if possible then i will add the second part in the upcoming video that means area of triangle okay areas of parallelogram and areas of triangle will be discussed in the same same video okay if it is possible and if not possible then definitely i will make separate separate videos okay so this part was to find out the area of part okay and there we discussed two types of question and these two types of questions are the basic of this topic okay okay thank you god bless you all